Hope you all had a good New Year's, and by Christmas, I see we reach 100 subs. I am surprised at this. <laughs> ah, my eyes are burning. Oh wow, it's gone in a second. Hmm? What? Do I get something in my eye? Look at myself in the mirror. Okay. What the fluff? Kitsuart. Hi, Fluffy Fluffs. My name is Kitsu. Yeah, I guess that's my new intro for this year. Um, the Fluffs are my fans, friends, and followers. <laughs> I hope you all had a good New Year's. So for this video, I'll go over the basics of the first program I used since I became a VTuber. And it's a program called B Magic Mirror. This program has gone through some updates since I first started in April. So it's more better than when I first used it, but it still works just how I remember it. If you are just beginning your VTuber journey without all the tools that you need, B Magic Mirror will be the best start for you. So here's my tutorial to help you get started. Okay, so what you gotta do first is um, Google B Magic Mirror, click the first link that appears on the top, and you'll be taken to the B Magic Mirror website. And then you'll be clicking on Download Free Standard Edition on Booth. This will take you to the Booth website. And you can either pay for the full version or you can download the free version which we'll be using the free version on this tutorial. Once you run the installer, select Install for all users, and then just follow the installation steps. All right, once you have installed the program, it'll actually open up the window right here. It'll, you'll have a green screen, and you'll have this screen right here. So the way to start will be to load file on PC, and then search for your B-Roy character model. We'll open up this model right here, and as you can see, it already showed the model in there. Um, apparently I am too tall for this, so <laughs> it can still be fixed. So the way to fix it, you go to streaming, and then you'll be greeted with a lot of options here. You got your transparent window right here, makes it transparent. We don't want that. What we want right here is a free layout. This will um, show you the arrows right here, and once you click on the arrow, you're moving the keyboard. And we want the keyboard to be um, all the way up here. Because, you know, I am just very tall. We'll move it a little bit to the side. And then, you know, adjust it to your liking. Um, the mouse pad, gonna have to move it all the way up as well. I cannot really imagine myself using a computer like that. So, that would be pretty funny. Alright, so, we'll work with what we got right there. And then, you also got your other options. You also got rotation. So, you can actually rotate this however you want. We'll actually just leave it like that. And there's also scale, meaning you can stretch or, you know, make it bigger if you like. You can see the mouse pad is like stretching sideways. <laughs> I cannot stretch it the other way. You got other options here, but we'll we'll work with that later. Alright, and then you got your and then right here on your camera, you got quick saves. So if I were to click one right here, it'll create a highlight one at the bottom here. And this will be quick load. So if I were to just move this all the way out here and I don't know where my character is. I just click one, and boom, I'm back where I started there. This is the quick, this is the quick load. So in case if you actually start experimenting, um, don't feel scared to experiment with what you're doing here. Like if you wanna like just move a lot of things around, you can actually quick save it three times here. And then if you actually messed up and you don't know what you have done wrong, you can always go back to your quick loads. Up here in the view, you got your gamepad, you got the win, desktop base color lightning. I have no idea what that does, but I can see there's like some edge lights on my screen, which do absolutely nothing. <laughs> then you got your typing effects. So every time you touch the keyboard, it'll create some effects. You know, I'm going to start typing right here. You can see letters are coming out of the keyboard. So my mostly my most favorite one is the light. There's butterflies. So I can show you the butterflies. You can barely see the butterflies. But when you put the light, it's more noticeable there. So my the light is actually my favorite one. And there's also the gamepad. I click the gamepad there, so we go back to position. And then you can see there's a PlayStation controller down there, which is a very awkward position to have a controller on. So, oh, not the one. So we just bring the controller up, so all the way up here. And then I cannot imagine the control being so close to me. And there we go. And uh, the cool thing about this is that that controller reacts to the con whatever controller you have connected to your PC. So I got an Xbox controller 
connect it to the PC. So I can like use it right now and you can see. You can see how I'm actually pressing buttons and you can see the fingers are moving according to the buttons that I press. And I move uh, wherever I move the control stick, the left control stick at. <laughs> and um, you can see the controller is kind of small. So we can actually use the scale tool or we can use gamepad scale, which will evenly scale up the controller on both sides. It's uh, very, it's more easier than just a regular scale. So there we go. And oh, okay, there we go. Don't know what was going on here, but yeah, there you go. Now the controller is appropriate size. Look at my tail wiggle. <laughs> I zoom my tail back and forth. Okay, that's it. <laughs> There's a hands down mode. So that means the your character's not gonna do anything in hands down mode. So um, if you're just doing just chatting or something like that, this will be actually a good thing to do. But I prefer, you know, moving around using the computer just to make it look more believable. And then the camera, um, the good thing about this program is that you do not need a camera. So even though the track facing is on, it's actually looking at my mouse. So you can see the, the check mark is right there and I move my mouse around. You can see I'm looking straight at it. And then you also got a microphone, which um, you do need a microphone or else how people are going to hear you. <laughs> So we'll go with, uh, oh wait, it's actually the Logitech. There we go. Now, my, now the character is talking. Every time I talk, the character will move. So, you know, um, when I'm talking right here, even though I got no camera, I got no tracking or anything. Every time I'm talking, I'm moving, I'm moving around pretty much. <laughs> every time I talk, I move around. So that's what I've, I've been using with this program since I first started and it actually works pretty well. You can also change it to look at the user. So I'm looking straight at you. And you can so you can also set it to none. And you know, the character will just do whatever it wants. And right below motion, you also got your arcade stick. So it just brings that up, which it's actually a new thing. Um, I don't even have a control, a, an arcade controller. So <laughs> um, it will probably be good if you're playing games like Street Fighter or something. And um, I don't think it will react to the controller, right? Oh no, it does react. That's good. And I push the other buttons. Yep. Alright, so it's gonna work exactly like an arcade stick controller. But I don't have one, so I just will go with the game, the, the PlayStation control. <laughs> and then when I first started, there was uh, no pen tablet for this. So we got your presentation hand. I can see you can see moving my hand. And it's uh, very painful <laughs> looking. <laughs> so. Yeah, so if you want to do like, you know, a PowerPoint presentation and, you know, just point at some words you want, that this will be a good thing. But I like the pen and tablet mode, which, you know, gives you a pen. And it's all the way down like there again, so give me a moment. All right, there we go. So with pen and tablet, so pen and tablet mode, it gives you a pen right here. And, you know, I'm just moving the pen around and it looks like I'm actually drawing. Then you got your word to motion. Word to motion is pretty much um, just, you know, your motions and your emotes. So I like to set this to keyboard number zero to nine. I do not know what a MIDI controller is, but you know, so I press the numbers right here. I press zero, nothing happens. I press one, that's my happy face. I press two, my mad face, three, sad face, four, smile. And then, you know, I start waving my hands with five, six, seven, eight. So they had a new 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 motions to the to this program now. So you know, they added um, nodding and shaking. This is nodding. Yep. 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 Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, this was not a thing back then. So it actually it's actually pretty cool that they added a nodding and a shaking and a shaking motion. <laughs> the Imagineer has worked really well for me when I first started. And I still use it when I draw at times because I love the pen feature. I wish other programs could do that like BUP. <laughs> but the way B Magic Mirror is now, it's way better than before with the shaking and nodding animations and a lot more possibilities, which I will show later. Because this tutorial is for those who are just beginning their VTuber journey with no tools. Your VTuber is enough to start, so don't be afraid to become a real anime boy, girl, waifu, husbando, furry, or lolly. Seriously guys, get B Magic Mirror, it's actually good.
Uh... I know you can do it, and I know you'll learn and have fun doing this. So do your best, because you can do it, we can all do it. Be brave, Fluffy Fluffs. My name is Kitsu, and I stream Fridays and Saturdays on Twitch at 8pm to 10pm Central Time. My goal for the new year is 1,000 subscribers. I didn't reach 500 last year, and that's okay, so my new year's resolution is 1,000 subscribers and focus on becoming a freelance VTuber artist. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to poke that like and subscribe button. Share with your friends, feel free to follow me in my other social media, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care of yourselves, Fluffy Fluffs. See you later!